Now joining us now is Jenna Clark, Associate Editor for The Australian, and Gemma Tognini, Managing Director of GT Communications. Oh. Ladies, lovely to have you both on the desk. What a new year. There's a lot of what hair on this panel. panel. <laughs> There's a lot of hair on this panel. <laughs> Jenna, I will start with you. The Danes are your special topic oh. this evening, aren't they? Yeah, I have to confess. So I moved to Denmark the same year that Mary did. The difference was I gained 20 kilos. She gained a royal title, which is amazing. Anyway, I think it's fabulous. It is completely unprecedented, like you said, for an Aussie to become, I guess, the queen of a very small but very mighty monarch, mm. um, sovereign nation in Denmark which they take their royals very seriously. I think it's really interesting that uh, Queen Marguerite decided to, to step down. She's uh, been in quite a bit of pain. She had some back surgery earlier this year. And I think we saw just overnight some new uh, footage where she did a tour around Copenhagen in her royal carriage. And you could kind of tell, you know, she's given it two weeks notice. She's like, guys, this is great. But, <laughs> yeah, I think the, um, the, it's going to be really interesting. So interestingly, they'll both be known as uh, Her Majesty Queen Mary and Her Majesty Queen Marguerite until Marguerite leaves this morning coil but I think the most exciting thing is crown prince Christian you know he's the first Aussie Perfect. prince uh, and first Aussie crown prince and first Aussie king in the couple half. of years. He's a halfy. Halfy. <laughs> and it, as if that there in itself is you know not enough controversy right the yeah. fact that she abdicated. Mm. They've tried to claim Mary yes. as Scottish. <laughs> now I feel like this is the great Pavlova scandal yeah. all over again. Well, it's not far off Jesus was Palestinian. Yeah. <laughs> Tis the season, really, isn't it? Yeah. Well, but it's but it's it's nonsense. It's nonsense. I mean, it's, she was born in Tassie. Yeah. I mean, I know that in the. I mean, you neither of you were probably at school, but the '82 Commonwealth Games when they left Tassie off the map in, yeah. in Brisbane, <laughs> like we all know that they've got a little bit of a chip. And hey, to our friends in Tassie, we love you and <laughs> right, appreciate right. you. Yeah, yeah. Um, she's clearly not. It's like Sam Neill is not Australian. He's a Kiwi. <laughs> Crowded house, a Kiwi. Farlap, was it New Zealand born horse? We've just got to get these things straight. We do. It we is do. surprising, though, because uh, it's not like she's hidden this. Like her father, John Donaldson, I think he now lives in Scotland after being a, an academic in Tassie. Mm. He wore a kilt at their beautiful yeah. wedding. She she paid homage to her um, heritage totally. during her wedding in 2004. And But also, I think the probably Danes probably raised her up because Queen of Scots was one of the first queens in Denmark. Right. Like seven the 1700s, so right. it is interesting, interesting controversy. It's just a little bit of license. It, it is, is. <laughs> yes. On to the British royals. Um, obviously, 2023 was a really aesthetic year for the royal family. <laughs> there was a lot going on, lots of pictures, <laughs> lots of footage. We saw a real uptick with William and Kate in relation to their use of social media. Mm. Yeah, I, I thought that was really fascinating. And the prevalence of the children now, like George, I mean, he's getting to that age where you can kind of tell he's a little bit awkward in front of the cameras. But I think it's lovely to see little Louis leave his I love phase. him. I, he's just he's, great. I, he's, he's, I'm here for his it's, content, it's mate, mainly him and Charlotte. Yes. And I, what I also love, I think one of the great things we saw, especially on the Sandringham Christmas Day, you know, they all generally, you know, filter out and things like that. But the beautiful affection that you saw behind the scenes with, uh, you know, Mike Tyndall giving yep. Charlotte a little cuddle and a yep. kiss. But that's them, right? Right. That. That's it's the modern royal family. Great. I think when they talk about the modern royal family, to me, at, 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 at any case, it's this, it's not just the jobs that they do yeah. and the fact that one drives one's own car, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. <laughs> it's the fact that this iteration of the royal family is no longer afraid to show affection in public. They, mm. You saw Prince Louis sitting on King Charles's lap at whatever concert that was. I forget which one it was. The one where he was carrying on like a peanut and his dad said, go sit with your grandfather. Yeah, yeah. And he's sitting on it. But you can't imagine mm. William sitting on... I mean, they were clearly close, but the physical affection in yeah. public was just very, not very something different. that they did. Yeah. And, and Gem, do you think, um, you know, you've, you've done a, a lot of advisory work in this area. You know, <laughs> mm, you talk yeah. about things like engagement, you talk yeah. about things like yeah. education. Um, it, it does appear very authentic, particularly those sorts of moments, but does that help with that modernisation and engagement? I think side it's of relatable. Mm. I think you, ca you can't fake that sort of stuff. Anyone can throw anything on Instagram, as mm. my account will prove. <laughs> no, truly, anyone can throw anything under a bunch of filters and do certain things, and I agree with you. I think their social media platforms are incredibly polished and well-run and interesting and engaging, mm. Mm. but the things that you just referenced, mm. like Mike Tyndall giving you know, whoever, a cuddle and, and to, you know, again, I re referenced that concert because they were all sitting there as a family and they're all playing up and, you mm -hmm. know, that that wonderful vision of Prince uh, Princess Kate grabbing Louis and going, yeah. cut it out. Yeah. Every mother in England looked at that and went, I feel seen. Yeah. And yeah. that is the stuff you can't fake. 